Hi, this is John Chennault with Vader TV. Welcome back to our Lessons Learned series where we talk to veteran entrepreneurs about what they've learned about starting a startup. We're here with Russ Fraden, CEO of Adify. Thanks Hi. for coming in. So this is your fourth company, although not the fourth you've, it's you've my, found. It's my fourth startup company. Right. Uh, I've been at uh, two startup companies that uh, I was at as a very, very early employee that ultimately went public. Mm -hmm. uh, one that was sold, and then there was a bit of a story behind that, and then I, I founded Adify with some folks I'd worked with in the past. Gotcha. So three pieces of advice or three lessons that you've learned for our maybe first-time entrepreneurs out there to keep in mind before they get into. Sure. Uh, the first thing I would say is don't focus on how sexy your idea is. And maybe that's just because I've, I've been at, at some very, very successful startups that were among the least sexy things going on on the mm -hmm. Internet, including Adify. We think it's right. an exciting idea, but it's not a cool, fun idea. It's a very practical solution for, for our customers. And so I, 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 you often see that you know, don't focus on the companies that get a lot of press. Well, it's great to get a lot of press. You really want to deliver long-term value for your customers. Mm -hmm. So I, I think not focusing on sexy ideas is a, a big one. Uh, the second thing I'd say, and, and this to me is, it, uh, to me in a confusing way seems almost oddly controversial. I'm a huge fan of VCs, and I'm a huge fan of raising more money than you need. Mm -hmm. If your goal is to flip your company in a year, then obviously raise some angel money, raise as little as possible and things like that. But fundamentally, if you're building a very interesting long-term value business, those do require cash, and that's right. okay. Right. And so you have to be careful which VCs you raise money from. There are some great VCs, and there are some VCs that are giant assholes. Right. It, it's, it's just a fact. But if you can raise money from quality VCs, they're wonderful. Angel investors are great, but you know they think an idea is sexy today, and six months from now they're busy or they're preoccupied. The nice thing about VCs is you know, they are professionally paid to help you succeed. And right. so I've had a series of very positive and ve very negative experiences with VCs over my career, but I, I, I'm, a huge fan of, I'm a huge fan of the idea of raising more money sooner from VCs. I, I think entrepreneurs can focus way too much on, A, how sexy their idea is, and B, how much control they have over their company, where, you know, who cares if you have control of a sinking ship? Yeah, what you right. really want is to build, again, long-term value. Uh, and the third thing I'd say, honestly, is, you know, really make sure you're only working with people that you enjoy working with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's obviously you want to make sure you're working with qualified people, but generally when you're at a startup, you're not doing it for because you're making the most money, though right. sometimes you make an outsized return on your money, but most people that start their own companies won't sell them for a ton of money and they right. won't go public, right? Most people that start their own companies will enjoy it and they will have a middling level of success right. and ultimately they'll get bought, right? I've been very lucky, but you know, that doesn't mean that that'll ever happen again. And so you have to fundamentally like what you're doing. And it's true whether you're an investment banker or a consultant or an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think a lot of people uh, have started companies during the boom because they're focused on how rich they're gonna get. And while that's a lovely byproduct, if that's your motivation, you're better off picking a different job. All right. Russ, appreciate it. Nice thoughts. Thank you. Speaking today with Russ Fraden, CEO of Adify. For Vader TV, this is John Chennault.